This is the moment we've all been waiting for. A beautiful fall synthetic. Y'all hear that? Synthetic wig. Okay. So we do have Miss Kamaya up in the building. And baby, look at the color. Chef's kiss. Because yes, she looks like the color of them leaves when they be falling off them trees. Baby. But anyway, y'all, this is just the overall construction and view of her. I just wanted to show y'all the ends, the eyes, everything. So, boom. <laughs> y'all, I got to do my cornrows. Actually, I did them. But anyway, y'all, we got eight cornrows on up underneath that wig and we do have a mesh cap on top but this is the first look of the hair and baby y'all can't tell me nothing okay fall this is a fall showstopper wig okay this is the hairline i didn't pluck it i'm just going to install it as is so starting off with red by kisses lace tinting spray i am in the shade medium dark brown we're gonna go ahead and cover up the lace because like i said it's transparent and we need it to mesh we need it to blend so i'm gonna put a few coats of that on there and i'm gonna show y'all the end results but do make sure you guys let it dry before installing it so some of the lace tinting spray did actually seep through on the roots of the wig so the roots are supposed to be black but they look brown but we're just gonna wipe it off and get what we can off with our makeup wipe okay okay so y'all see the part you only have this area to work with it's not a full lace frontal be mindful of that you only have this section so we're gonna get that part crisp and clean and straight to the gods okay because she was giving crooked so I'm just taking my hot comb so I could get a feel of what the hairline was going to give. Okay, so like I said, I don't need to pluck it. So I'm definitely not going to do that. Y'all see that? So anyway, y'all, we're going to go ahead and get rid of the lace. Like I said, the lace, the less lace, the better. I feel it looks more natural when you don't have too much lace hanging on your forehead for dear life. Like, just get rid of it. Okay. And like I said, this, oh, I didn't say that before, but this unit is big head friendly. So I have to trim it up to fit my head. Well, this is what she's given right now. We're going to go ahead and get ready to secure her down. I'm using my Ebon Supreme Lace Spray to do so. I love this stuff. Like I said, it's hot today. So we're just going to go ahead and use this. And this always get keeps me right in that human all right um i'm putting about one to two to three layers on and i'm gonna take my blow dryer on a cool heating setting and i'm gonna let it dry until it's tacky once it's tacky you know it's time to lay it down um like i said this particular wig is big head friendly however there is an elastic band on the inside of the wig in case you're trying to wear a glueless you can do that but i would recommend you securing down the sides uh like the ear tab section you know of your wigs because if you just wear it glueless i still feel like baby especially if you're gonna be outside and it's windy them ear tabs is gonna be flapping and people is gonna be looking at you like you're you know so i'm going on <laughs> So for this side of my head, I do have too much lace. So I am going to trim it up so it won't be sitting on my eyebrows because y'all know I don't like that. Okay, especially if I'm going to do baby hairs. I don't want it to swoop, be swooping into my brow because it's just going to wipe it off. And I'm just going to be looking all types of crazy. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my elastic band on today. I should have went back in with some more of that tinting spray, to be honest, to make sure it melted, melted, but it's all good. So I'm just using this elastic band and it's going to sit for five minutes. 
So this is what the lace is giving us after I took the elastic band off. I'm going in to detangle the hair fully for the first time. Of course, I got some tangling here and there. Nothing to be alarm alarmed about. It was very, very minimal. And shedding as well, just a little bit. So if you don't like doing baby hairs, this is your time to go ahead. This is how your week will look. But y'all know I got to spruce it up just a tad bit. It's not too bad. Not too bad. So I'm just going to go in and define the part. I'm using a kiss powder today. I will leave it in the description section below because, sis, I don't know the names of nothing, okay? But I really love this powder. Y'all know I use concealer, but I was shocked by how pigmented it looked because, like, baby, that brought that part to life. Look at that part. Y'all can't tell me that part ain't parting. Okay, that part is parting, period. So anyway, like I said, I'm going in and be a little bit dramatic and do my baby hairs because y'all know they are so dear to my heart and I just can't help it. I need my baby hairs. So we're going to go ahead and, you know, just pull out a little section of hair. Um, but I should have used my got to be glue gel because this is a synthetic unit and I just feel like you need a thicker hold when it comes down to synthetic hair, synthetic hair. I don't know because this unit is giving a little like a yakky texture in there. So, you know, got to be gel would have been, you know, perfecto. But it is what it is. We finna make it work. So y'all know I don't like, you know, long baby hairs and stuff like that. So I did trim up a little bit. And of course, you do your best to get your baby hairs to look like sisters. Okay, they're not twins. I can never get mine to look identical. Now look, that looked too high. So I'm just gonna part that out and just pull some hair back up into the hairline and swoop it to the best of my ability, okay? So she looking good, but she need to look gooder, okay? So I'm just gonna spray my Sebastian hairspray. I love this stuff. I do have my hot comb on a low heating setting because I don't want to change the texture of this unit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure everything is flat. And I am gonna go in bumping, you know, put a little bump towards the front so it could just lay right when I go to frame the curls, so. So this is the end of the video, y'all. I'm just doing, you know, the final looks, you know, touching it up, fixing it to my liking, okay? But I am completely obsessed with this unit, y'all. Look at the color. I love the gradients of color. Now, it does look a little shiny, so if that bothers you, you can use some dry shampoo to dull it down. But I did not want to do that. I wanted to show you guys what you're actually getting. This is pretty. I don't care what you say. I don't care what your mama say. I don't care what your uncle say. <laughs> This shit is ball.com. I don't care, y'all. I'm hype. I'm obsessed. I have no negative things to say about this unit. It hit on all levels. On all MF levels. Period. So, if you guys are interested, link will be down in the description section below. And until my next one, your girl will see you later. Bye, guys.